So these four should be enough for 24 buildings. We have way more than that. <laughs> uh, we have 30... Kidding. I'm going to delete this. Whatever. All we gotta do, we wanna fix this is add two more, probably. How's up on that? So these six should be enough for uh, 36 and how many did we have? We had like, we had 30, I think we had 36, right? So that's actually perfect? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, uh, that should definitely increase our circuit production. Let's put a buffer in here so I can bring some to our Lose science. The deconstruction planner. Hmm. You know, I'd like to. I'd rather be constructive. Thank you very much. Don't run. Want to run into any terrible, terrible problems that a deconstruction planner might run into. Okay, that is way too many. I did not put in... <laughs> that might have been where some of our iron was going. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go grab some copper. Did we, did we pick up all the copper cables here? Too dangerous, Fluffles. Too dangerous. I don't trust myself with that kind of power. Even though I don't even have any bots, so technically that isn't a problem to begin with at all. But even still. Okay, we're just going to call all these so we can potentially use these somewhere else. Uh, we do need more power. But we're out of space here for power, so we'll have to move it somewhere else. And we also need a new pump, because our pump is currently maxed out. We have 20 going on right now. So we'll, uh, I guess we'll just put our power down here. We have plenty of room. Why not? Getting pretty serious up there. Never. We made a deal when I destroyed their bases the first time and said if you guys are going to come after me, that's what's going to happen. And you know, they've mainly stuck to that plan, that our deal, if you will.
full. Long time we did since we did that. Yeah, we're just gonna go crazy on this. Might as well. <laughs> I do think electricity was another problem that we ran into on this on this uh, playthrough. We we spent a long time with yellow power, and that definitely cuts our efficiency in half. You can kind of see how slow these guys are moving. Although that's almost kind of normal. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, we got four. It should be good. Okay, I made way too many. I did say we were going to go crazy on it, but... Potentially too crazy. Don't want to kill our bowl. seen that in a while. Let's see where we're at. 840. Yeah, so. Oh no, we killed our we killed our coal. <laughs> Borrow this. Get a little supplement while more coal comes down the line. So we're at 40 minutes and we're still not done with the silo, so I I'm I I think that's even if we had done the right research, we still would have not made it. I think we would have been close, but not close enough. Four percent. That means we have about twenty-five more. Twenty-five more means I don't know. It means math. I think we have enough. Could probably cut out our. density at this point so we can get more copper through wasn't nearly enough So we, we picked up all that, unfortunately. No reason to keep these guys going, but why not? Steal for this, it looks like. So 
at this rate, I'm thinking 1020. Or 920 is going to be the time we launch our rocket. Because again, we, we kind of have everything in place. We just need to make the silo and then fill it after this is done. Um, we're going to need a couple things. We haven't actually started on concrete yet. Probably should get on that. Um, but the rest we're pretty good on, I think. It's concrete, uh, advanced engines, processing units, steel, and I forgot what else. But I think it's 250 of this, so we have plenty of this left. And seems good to me. Amazing. Even with all this, not good enough. Uh, that's mainly because <laughs> copper is dead. Dead in its tracks. I think this is too much for us. Uh, part of the problem here is that even if it's making quicker with the speed modules, it can't export it out quick enough. I don't think the speed modules are helping as much as they could be. Okay, we need to head over there, so let's go do that. We'll let this run for a little bit. Yellow's good. Really just the blue, so let's gather up another 200 of these or so. Put them in the blue and then go kill some biters, I suppose. Man, this is rough. <laughs> Strange now that we have so much so much green on the field. All the red is gone. Last thing I'm going to check before we head over there is the number of low density structures we have. I think that's plenty. So hopefully that will also help our, our troubles. We want to go to oil and to coal. Forgot where it Did I put a radar over there? I must have. Good thinking, me. I probably should have put it on the other ones as well. I think it was mostly the iron here. Let's we'll overwhelm it with hurts here.
Hopefully that will be good enough. Oh, uh, we're we're kind of just waiting at this point. Um, we've we've gotten all the things that we need done. Uh, all we're doing is we're waiting for more circuits so we can finish off what we're doing. We're waiting on the science, basically. I'm just heading around trying to make things slightly better for us so we don't have to worry about it. things that we have left to make are concrete, the productivity modules, and that's about it. Go kill that base. Well, it's more or less ready to start. I just have to bring over everything that we needed. Hey team. Wow, that was a huge slow right at the beginning. Much appreciated. Fish OP, by the way, again. Taking out bases very, very doable with just grenades. Just gotta make sure that you don't get bumped on. You only have two grid. Uh oh. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Well, I saw that we had the uh, auto save. Need to conserve grenades. Yeah, the only thing that can really kill you is if you get trapped. You should keep in mind that we're all we're also only using heavy armor at this point. It's kind of pretty crazy to think about. Alright, that's the best we can do. These are piercing rounds I'm using. We ran out of grenades, uh, and we aren't at, we, we haven't been making any more, so that's probably all the biter killing that we're going to be doing. Let's head to back to base, make sure our science is going properly, and start making some concrete. Concrete doesn't take too long, but we do need a thousand of it, so... It'd be best to get started now. A train! Wait for me! So, concrete needs... Iron, stone, and water. We have all of those things in excess. Guess we'll make it right here. Never mind. Water's too far. Guess we'll bring it down and make it over here.
So we'll just put uh, the things in the chest there. Put them through via inserters. Take them out via inserters. Voila, we have concrete. So we need stone bricks and iron ore. Put our inventory away. This is another reason why we keep the stone bricks. One reason is for the electric furnaces, which is the main reason. The other reason is concrete. Just steal the rest of our iron. It might not be everything that we need, but we'll we'll go refill in, in a little bit. Our blue science is weeping. More, more things. Oh, I'm working? No. Yeah, the copper cables were... Not good enough. We'll have to supplement it somehow if we want to get it working a little bit faster. I was hoping the more copper that we put up there would be good enough. It was not. It was not. We are getting a good amount through here, but the throughput is no good because they're all putting it onto the same side and they don't put them down right away, even if they have the, the cables, because there's no space. Instead, out of grenades, <laughs> we're gonna do instead is we're gonna take some from this side as well. It looks like this side is saturated ish. You can see the left side of the belt is full, so it does have some to spare. Probably don't need four of these, but might as well. This half here, and then this four should be good enough. We can have this tend this side. Here to place a wire assembler in line with every six. Because you don't need copper for circuits, so how would you get the 
the wire in here. Yeah, go, give me a second. Go for it. Oh, there goes all, all of our copper. Oh well, we have excess amount of circuits now. I'd rather this copper go this way than to the circuits. Yep, that's nine hours. I'm I'm still believing in the ten twenty mark, but mainly the the issues that we've run into here is our supply wasn't isn't going to the right places at the right times. Our activity is done though, so let's stop this. We don't need this either. I'm going to use this for our level 3 Megan. Again, I have so much stone in my inventory for some reason. And look at your picture here. See what you mean? That is pretty neat. But. Mm. Like, how's the throughput on that, though? Oh, I guess it should be fine, because you're putting in every six. See, what I normally do is, uh... I kind of put, I kind of put it this way because I wanted to try it this way. But what I normally do is I put, I put one on the outside every six. I do the same thing that you do, but I don't... I do it on the outside. Okay, I don't do the same thing you do, I do completely differently. <laughs> I I just put a building here and then feed it and then put another one at, at the six mark and then keep on going. I just wanted to see how this would work. It didn't. It didn't work very well. But it's it's not terrible. But it did it did kill my copper. The, the problem for me with that is that I don't have the copper throughput to begin with. So putting a lot of putting that much copper on that line, the, the way that you have it, would just leave me a lot of dead copper, um, technically. And that would I don't think it would work. I I would need a stronger copper line for it to work that way. But I, I do like the, the design. It's neat. So we could probably kill this now. Can't. How many do we have? 480. Oh, we can kill this now. Fantastic. Okay, so let's cut this. We'll finally have some excess advanced circuits. That I can use. It really is, though, but 
I definitely like the look of compact designs. I'm a fan of those. It just... Uh... With, with things like this, or with this challenge at least, the, the main thing is trying to make use of everything you have and not trying to overdo things. And so I'm trying to get the bare amount that I can get and still be uh, time efficient. Whereas normally if it was like a normal playthrough, I'd probably just mine out literally everything that we have. I'd mine this out. This is only half mined. I'd mine this out, you know. I'd mine this fully, and I'd have way more smelting, and that, that would make everything way easier. I'd also have a legitimate belt and whatnot, a uh, bus system, all that deal. But because I'm trying to skimp on time, we're doing this nonsense where we're kind of using one belt for everything, and that means if we have one shortage, if one part is using too much, then the rest just don't get any, and that's something I need to work on to be a little bit better at. Alright, look at that. Apparently I have circuits to work with. If I want to, I could probably make these into processing unit makers. But I want to do that. Probably do. That's probably the only thing I need to make left. We're pretty much done with our silo. Yeah, and I mean, that's a cool thing about Factorio. Um, the same game, same, uh, same goal for everyone, but everyone plays it differently. Everyone learns it differently. Everyone does their own thing. It's, it's really cool. All right, let's check on our concrete. That is more than enough. We only need a thousand, so. That was fine. So if we want to be super efficient here, we can carve out our area for our rockets and want a cool space for it. So let's do it out in the middle here. Why not? Hey team, thanks for watching. If you're looking for more content, I have some playlists on your screen right now. And if you've enjoyed my videos, you know what to do. I'd really appreciate it if you click that like, comment, or subscription buttons. They really, really help me out a lot. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.